your right aside. Left to right, to dynamite. Your left to right, your right aside. Your left, your right, your dynamite. Your left, your left, mark time, march, platoon. Huh. Yeah, Ronald Haney's back. What up? Yo, real quick, so I'm about to take it down. You know what I'm saying? Um, thank you all for tuning in earlier. You know what I mean? When I did a novel for my little monologue Monday. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I did another video earlier. Anyway, this video says part two for the Starbucks to the Waffle. To, for part two to Star, for Starbucks to Waffle House part two, right? So look, um, before I even get into that, uh, what up MTK? I, uh, um, um, other than that, where was I? Cause I'm, yeah, I'm a little tired now. I'm a little tired now, but I'm not too tired to talk about what I need to talk about and get it off my chest real quick. You know, the part one is over on YouTube. Check me out over there. I got a channel over there. Like that channel. Subscribe to that channel. Um, cause I spoke about this earlier. About Starbucks to Waffle House. Well, first of all, real quick, like I said earlier about that Starbucks situation, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yo, real talk, I'm glad that it's kind of dwindling down. You feel me? Because the reason why I'm glad it's dwindling down is because, one, you know what I'm saying? The two brothers that were arrested in that Starbucks, they walked out of there alive. Because they could have left in body bags. You know what I'm saying? Right about now, it seems like it's the, the new thing. Well, it ain't the new thing. Because, you know what I'm saying? Again, a lovely family I've been working with for years now. The Bell family has lost Sean 11 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So, this is not a new thing. It's not in style with, um, you know, the gun laws needing to be changed in the country. So now, not meaning to go all around the world with this, you know what I'm saying? Again, about that Starbucks situation, those two gentlemen, God bless them. They walked out of it alive. They have their lawyers now, you know what I'm saying? And they'll more than likely get paid. If they don't, you know, whatever. But now, let's get to what's happening, what's popping right now. Now, mind you, I was in Nashville last summer because I have relatives in Nashville and, you know what I mean, I was down there last summer and stuff. So, you know, when I was out with my auntie, my cousins and stuff, I can't imagine just chilling, you know what I'm saying, in the rib spots that we was hitting up down there. But, you know, I love me some barbecue and somebody rolling up in there with their AR-15 spraying a place, all right? So now, this happened in Waffle House near Nashville. Everybody talking about it. Everybody know what's up with that. So now, and this, my part one in this, you know what I'm saying, earlier, it's over on YouTube. I was commending the brother James, you know what I'm saying, for being a hero and stuff like that. You know, it was deep how this brother, you know, got the gun out the... The, the, you know, the shooter's hands, you know, this guy, Ryan King, who, Rain King, or whatever his name is, and of course, you know, the stories is out about how he's so 730, you know what I'm saying, how he's so crazy, and how his father told him to take the guns back, and it's a whole bunch of bullshit right now, and pardon me if you, don't let no kids watch this, a whole bunch of bullshit, of course, is going to come out about this shooter. About he how he's so fucking crazy, and then not only that, why, why, okay, I have to ask why. You know, there's no freedom of speech in the country. Why did he? Why was the shooter apprehended alive? That's what everybody want to know. Why was the shooter apprehended alive after? Shooting four people with the AR-15 rifle, you know what I'm saying, a few steps down from the M16 that I used to use in the service. I'm, I'm telling you, these weapons are war. When the United States goes to war, and I say that as an ex-serviceman, this is what these weapons need to be used. Why is that table walking? And what is with it? Because of the rest of their soul, the four young people, they're innocent, you know what I mean, all right? Yo, I don't 
know that. You know what I mean? But when you didn't go out like that, they had their lives ahead of them. So, and, and, and why does this guy have this guy I'm killing four people? I don't want to go there because I'm an artist. Art should be a color thing. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I got to ask, is it right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go there. I'm going to keep it with a stack. Is it called white? Because I know. I, say, I ask that on the strength for all the white friends that I have. Because we need to know they're the same thing. They are the same too. And they, you know, I mean, many of us strive for cultural diversity. We have been striving for cultural diversity in the country for many years. Right? So we came back right now. It's not good. All right. Anyway, the shooter was apprehended alive after shooting four people with a rifle. You know what I'm saying? The the other shooter that smoked all them people in the Parkland, Florida high school, he was apprehended alive. Okay. Anybody get apprehended alive when they Caucasian? My hometown, New York City, in Brooklyn, a man had a shell head. Right, so everybody talk about the shower head look like, like a weapon. Someone got one cops on this man, a well loved, you know, a little, you know, they say, they say he was a lot of fun, and cool, crazy, and all this other stuff, but then they shot him 10 times in the back. He was shot 10 times in the back. This thing was Stefan Gray. He was shot in his yard. You already know the deal on that. And in this case, about the Walmart thing. That's printing now. Well, I read it, it said it on April 5th. Which means that if it happened April 5th, again, this is no damn different than when they smoked Diallo here in New York City years ago. And then two nights later, they killed a brother named Malcolm Ferguson in his hallway in the Boogie Down Bronx. Like, where I'm at. So, yo... I'm getting a little tight. That's as far as I'm going to go with this. This is part two to Starbucks versus Waffle House. Starbucks, whatever. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, and don't, well, if you're going to defriend me behind this, well, whatever. I'm saying, for Starbucks, I don't know no corporation in America that would actually lose money to give training on how to deal with different, you know, minority groups. You know what I'm saying? And people was crying about that. People was crying about these brothers getting arrested. Them brothers walked out of that Starbucks alive. Two black men walked out of Starbucks alive to tell the story. And they got lawyers. It's becoming a rarity. You know what I mean? It's a rarity right now. So, with this Waffle House thing, you know what I'm saying? Gunman apprehended, nice and alive. And to my man, that the, the hero, God bless you, brother. You know what I'm saying? You did what you had to do. You're looking a little shook up there with all the microphones, though. You sure you don't want to be regarded as a hero, brother? I'm going to leave all of y'all with that. All right? Yeah, I'm out. Left, right. Yo, left, right. I'm that soldier. Yo, left, right. This is rendezvous. Yo, left, right. Sound off. Come on. Sound off. Break. I said break. 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 Break it on down now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Check me out on YouTube. Like me on YouTube, subscribe to me on YouTube, Ronald Haney on YouTube, Ronald Haney on Facebook. Thank you very, very much for your support. Good night.